In a self-defense situation, don't be looking for disarms. It's something that's gonna happen by accident. But by trading martial arts, you have a better chance of actually picking that up. So if I'm doing my X block here, I'm just doing it to pick up the wrist itself. What I'm learning is the exit point of the knife is where the thumb and the fingers collapse together. I don't like teaching my students to grab the knife, obviously, so I'm gonna be just pushing in the opposite direction. I'd recommend using your ulna bone as much as you can to be able to push that out and then engage. So even though I'm training martial arts right now, I'm training the art side of the martial, it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm not building good self-defense skills. My self-defense skill is definitely not here in the X block. But at some point, if I'm in a, you know, a knife fight and I get to here and I'm out, notice I'm not looking for the knife, I'm not trying to grab the knife, I'm immediately going to threatening Kyle as much as I can. That can go both ways. In that demo, my left arm was underneath, my right was on top. Now my right is underneath, my left is on top. So now I'm passing it this way. I can get into my wrist flex technique, but again, where's the weakness of the grip? I want to be pushing the knife this way. This can help build some dexterity in your hands as well. Don't ever grab the weapon like this. Obviously it's a blade, so I want to be thinking, okay, this is the spine of the blade, this is the sharp end. I can peel it and pull out. But what did I do? I pushed it in that direction. Again, Again, if I use my forearm to do that, it can strip and push down, but it's not always going to be a guarantee. You always see in the movies, pull out John Wick style, cut, slash, stab, throw at the next guy. Yeah, it's all super cool, but really it's just to build your sensitivity. I train my sensitivity in my martial arts, in my forearms mostly, so that I can maybe, maybe see it show up in a self-defense situation, but that's not very likely. So when it comes down to it for self-defense, train what I've showed you. When it comes down to you training knife disarms, go find a good Filipino martial artist and they'll help you out on your journey. Stay safe out there.